Most people in the world are just chasing after objects of desire. But at least they are honest, they are not hypocrites. Hmm? These are the people we look down upon and say, Chief, but realistic person. And a few people, in the name of spirituality, in the name of religion, what are they doing? What verse 6 talks about. Physically, they keep away from things, from the good things of life, sense objects. So, here is a guy who says, uh, oh, uh, I can't wear an expensive watch because I'm spiritual. I can't have a fancy car because I'm spiritual. I can't eat good food because I'm spiritual. I don't know where they got this idea from. <laughs> Why does a person have to eat bad food to become spiritual? That's not the case. Now what you need to understand is that by merely distancing yourself from physical objects, you're not achieving anything. Because desires reside in the mind, not in the body. The question is, where is your mind? You go to any ashram in India, first they look at your handbag, then they look at your watch, they look at your clothes and say, nice. You are supposed to look at them and say, nice spiritual people. But it's the other way around. So therefore, you know, there's this story of two friends. They suddenly meet after many years. They were together in school. And they ask each other, what are you doing? So one guy says, I'm going to Bharati Vidya Bhavan to listen to chapter 3 lecture. <laughs> His friend very sheepishly says, I'm going to a lounge bar with my friends to have fun. So this goes on and then both die at the same time. The guy who's gone to a temple or come here for Bhagavad Gita lectures or gone to an ashram or gone to the Himalayas, he goes to hell. And the other guy who's constantly going and enjoying himself, his party animal, he goes to heaven. So the guy who's sent to hell says, you know, they have a, a system of appealing. There's a court. So he goes to court and tells the judge, I said, this is not fair. All my life I've been going to religious places and I've been sent to hell. And that guy, look at him. He had a whale of a time partying every night and he goes to heaven. What kind of justice is this? So the judge in hell told him, physically you went to all these so-called good places, but your mind was always on what fun your friend was having. Whereas your friend, he went to parties every day, but he was constantly thinking of you going to a temple, going to an ashram, doing, attending spiritual lectures, so on and so forth. So, you, he went to heaven and you are in hell. So now this doesn't mean stop coming tomorrow, please. <laughs> what it means is, it's where your mind is that matters.